and welcome to the Planner Channel. My name is Katie. Thank you so much for joining me for this live. We will be having a planner chat all about deciding on our planners for 2022. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button below to watch new planning videos every week. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. All right. I want to say hello to Nikki. Hello to Chris, Lisa, Pauline. And make sure as you come in, type a little something in the chat so that I can say hello. And if you're watching the hashtag replay, leave your name in the comments so that I can say hi to you later. So oh, choosing a planner for 2022. I do have a few tips that I can offer to help you with deciding on your planner for 2022, but I haven't even decided on my planner for 2022. I have a handful of happy planners, most of which I'm using to teach courses in the planner school. Um, I have a few different classes that'll be available this year, which is really, really fun. And uh, I get to use the planners for that. But for my own personal, I have not made a decision yet. So I wanted to chat about that and I wanna know what kind of planners all of you are using. So to start off, if you have decided which planner are you using for 2022, put that in the chat or in the comments and I wanna see what you all are using. Um, I wrote a bunch of different planner brands in the description to this video just as like a brainstorm of all the different ones. I, there are so many different planners to choose from. So let me start off with, hey Lisa, um, my tips for choosing a planner for 2022. Uh, the first tip, probably the very, well there's really two and they work together and you really need to answer both of those questions to start off. And then there's another third one. So I'm going to say these three things. The first one is, do you like the planner as in the aesthetics? Is it pretty to you? Do you like the colors? Is it like your favorite shade of green? Is it flowers? If you like flowers, is it a pretty planner or a chic planner or <clears throat> a simple planner or <clears throat> just whatever your style is that you like? Is it in that style? Is, do you want to pick it up and use it and flip through it and read it and write in it? That's number one. Do you kind of like it? Number two, <clears throat> is it a layout that works for you? Now that one's a little more difficult because you probably have to try a few planners before you'll figure that out. Whether you like a horizontal layout, if you write a lot, you want lines, or you're a bullet journaler, and you want blank paper, you wanna create your own spreads, or you think vertically. I kind of think vertically, so I usually use a vertical planner uh, because to me, each day gets its own column, and that's just how I think, but no, everyone's a little different, and maybe you like a horizontal. Then there's like a dashboard, if you're using the Happy Planner, there's a really cool dashboard layout which gives you the left-hand side page of <clears throat> like all your lists and your plans <clears throat> for the week, your things to do, and uh, a good decorative section. And then on the right, actually opposite for you guys, left is like the dashboard, the right is your actual week with plans in it. So if that makes sense to you or works for you, I also like that layout for a financial planner um, because it has, like you can put your shopping lists on the left side and you can track all your expenses on the right. I really like that one for a budget planner. So layout, and, and there are so many different layouts too. So I think you're really looking at the basic, if you're not sure, starting in the beginning, do you want vertical, do you want horizontal? And then from there, there are other variations as well. So choosing a layout that you like and that works for you and for whichever purpose you're using the planner. The third thing is the size size. So if you need a small one to, you want to keep it in your purse and then it depends on your planner bag. Like how big is your bag? Do you have a bag that you're putting it in? Let me just, I'll just turn that off for now. 
Um, are you bringing your planner with you? Does it have to go in a specific bag? Or um, are you leaving it on your desk? Do you work from home and you can use a bigger planner and you need more room um, because you can leave it open on your desk? That's another thought to consider for size. Also, if you're using a daily planner, that's a lot of pages, so it's a little bit thicker. Are you okay with using a thick planner? If you're going to daily, you know, that's 365 pages at least, plus the monthlies and then bonus pages in the front or the back. And that's why sometimes the daily planners are in six month planners or three month planners. So size is something to consider. Also, if you're adding, if there are certain pages you wanna to add to your planner, um, you might want a more standard size planner. You might want a regular sheet of paper size planner so that you can easily punch in extra sheets of paper if there are, are things that you know you're going to want to include in your planner. So size would be the third consideration. The fourth one would be the binding to your planner. Do you like discs? Do you like twin loop wire bound? Do you like a spiral bound planner? The benefits to something like this, either discs or rings, is that you can add pages, take pages out, change it up, um, put multiple planners together. The benefit of a wire ring or ring bound like this is that none of your stuff is missing from your planner. Like I'm notorious for taking things out and putting them somewhere <laughs> and I don't know where they are. They're in here, I promise they're in this room, but yeah, I don't know where in this room, but you can't lose things out of, out of a wire bound or twin loop bound planner or a book bound planner. So it's something to consider. Everything that you um, need is going to stay in there. So those are my really four tips for choosing a planner. Do you like how it looks? Does the layout work for you? Does the size work for you for your needs? And is it the binding that you like? Those are my thoughts. Let me see what you all put in the comments for the kind of planner that you're thinking about using for 2022. Let's see. Hey, yo. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Sherry. All right. Nikki uses uh, the dashboard and framing plans, which means she uses multiple planners and builds them together or uses extension packs or paper um, or printables and includes them in her planner and makes it like custom. Um, Lisa has two happy planners for 2022. Both are vertical layout, but you're looking for horizontal. Okay, I'm gonna make a suggestion for a horizontal for you. Not that you asked, but it's really, really cute. I found this one. Uh, the Happy Planner makes a horizontal. If, you, if you're into Disney and Minnie Mouse, there's a Minnie Mouse horizontal planner for 2022 and it's available on Amazon. So it will be linked in my Amazon shop in the description. It should, should be in there, should be in there. Um, we can check in a second, I'll make sure it's in there. But it's super duper cute. It is neutral and pink, so which I love with rose gold. So this is totally my color palette. It has really, really cute um, divider tabs. So black and white, rose gold. And look how cute that is. So, so cute. So if you're into cute Minnie Mouse Disney, that's a really great horizontal. Oh, let me show you the layout. And this is the planner that I'm using to teach my creative journaling class. So it's really pretty pale pink. I can barely see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> pale pink horizontal layout. I love it. That one's one of my favorites. So I'm excited about that one for 2022. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Nikki's using a monthly horizontal for budget and you just ordered the plans and notes. So that was on my list of things I wanted to chat about is uh, have you seen the Happy Planners plans and notes? And do you, is it, my question specifically, do you want me to get one and do a review? Is it something you wanna see more of or, um, or not so much? K 
Karen's considering a mini dashboard planner. Karen, if you write small and you are on the go all the time, a mini planner is excellent. I actually started out, that was my first happy planner was a mini. Um, and then I got a classic right after that, but I started out with that mini on the go. Um, and I kind of used it as my on the go errands, all the, I would run errands every day during lunch. So I'd always have things to put in there. And that's what I used the mini for to start with. Let's see what else you all said. Let me go back up. Chris, which two, oh, you have an 18 month and 12 month classic. Happy planners, I assume. Um, I have two happy planners. Lisa has vertical. Oh, that's the horizontal. We talked about that. Did I say hi, Sherry? Hi, Sherry. Amanda, hi, Amanda. You're using a vertical, a dashboard, and a budget planner. So we talked a little bit about dashboard. Vertical is pretty basic. It's a vertical column, three boxes. Um, budget planner. I haven't looked at the new budget planners. Do you already have it or have you ordered it and it's on the way? Sherry Franken plans. So and Amanda Franken plans. All prayed up. Hello. And Chris is using a vertical happy planner. Kim, hi Kim, starting your first Happy Planner in 2022. Which one did you get? All right, so I have a few different planners here that we can talk about. And um, so like I do have this Ashley Shelley Daily that I'm considering for my own personal planner for 2022. I also have um, I'm just, I'm thinking about using a daily. I haven't used a daily before, but I'm thinking this might be the year to try it out. So I have that. I'm, I'm thinking about using that one. I also have this beautiful planner from Wrong Wrong DeVoe, and this one's her twin loop planner, and she has a new planner coming out, which is similar, but it's a disc bound, and that one I have ordered. It's on the way. It's beautiful. The only thing I don't like about it is it's undated, and this one's also undated. I mean, that's good and bad. You can start whenever you want when it's an undated planner, and you can put in the numbers however you want to for the dates. So it gives you a little more customization option, um, but I just don't like dating a planner. But I did order that one. It is beautiful. So that might be my planner for 2022 for my personal planner. I, I chose the work hard one for my goal business social media planner for 2022. This one is an hourly layout. And I'm also using this one to teach a goal setting class in the planner school. So if you haven't seen this layout, it is an hourly vertical layout, but it also has a goal setting section in the front of each month. So I have that one um, that I'm definitely using. A couple of more for classes that I'm teaching. This one will be my gratitude planner for 2022. And I should have a video of this setup coming soon this week. This one is a vertical layout and it's called happy plans. And it says gratitude changes everything on the cover. So I like that one. Then I have this one, which I think I'm going to use on the planner channel to do more like tutorial videos. I like this layout not really for my personal use, but it's the vertical lined layout. But I love this for like meal tracking, expense tracking, um, uh, like to do lists. It's really good as a functional kind of planner layout, um, but it doesn't have those three boxes. I'm, so I'm, I'm not sure, not sure on that one for my personal one, but there's a lot of things you can do with it. So I'm probably going to use it for that. What else? I do ha also have this that came in the Sparkle Hustle Grow subscription box, 
which um, I also have in the description if you want to learn more about that. It's a planner subscription box. It's really cool. And this came in in the subscription box and it has a dot grid journaling guide and a dot grid journal in it. Now, it, that is not like my skill set. I would need to learn how to do it, but I have that as an option and it could be pretty cool for a project. All right, let me see what we have down here in comments. All right, Amanda got the undated one from the winter release. Okay, very good. Which one? <laughs> do you know which one it is? There were a lot of neutrals and flowers and some Disney ones. Just curious. Um, Patsy has a mini, but you're deciding on your classic. Um, Yolanda, hey. Yolanda is using the Erin Condren Daily Duo. Okay, I have a question about that. Um, oh, that one's your personal. Uh, plum paper for work and a happy planner with uh, budget mom for budget. Budget mom? Is there a budget mom planner? Mom for budget. Okay, so how do you like the Daily Duo? Because that's another daily planner that's the Erin Condren Daily Planner. That's one I've got my little eyes on, maybe looking at. I did happy, uh, Angie Don't Stop Yo said, I did happy planner for my main planner for two years. Ooh, you're using the Law of Attraction Planner next year. That's cool. Do you have it yet or have you ordered it? That should be neat. How many planner is the Mirabelle? Marabou. <laughs> oh, is that the one you got, the Marabou? <laughs> okay, that's pretty. Oh, there's a budget mom. Yeah, I'm not like up to date on all the latest <laughs> products. There's so many, oh my gosh. Uh, budget mom planner, I love the Daily Duo. I'm in totally, pan pl oh yay, planner piece. <laughs> so you love the Daily Duo. Yeah, I've been thinking about that because I'm considering daily planning. You got a color block planner, Kim. Okay, so next question, we can head on over here and try to look at some new stuff. Like I wanted to look at those, that new um, undated planner from, hold on, from the Happy Planner. This one, the plans and notes that's available on Amazon. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it really good, but maybe kind of, maybe kind of, oh, it was too bright. Mm. but at least I can see it. Maybe we can talk about it a little bit. So there's this new plans and notes and it's an undated planner slash happy notes all mixed into one. Um, and the discs don't have hearts on them. So it's like uh, more neutral. And there's a few different ones. So let's see, it's discs, but can you see there? These discs don't have hearts. They're just plain discs. I think these are classic size. Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The, that, that one is big. So they have both, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have big and classic size. They have the lined paper in it, undated monthly calendars. See, this is kind of what I make my planner into, is I always add extra paper in the back. I generally do like to Franken plan, sometimes a lot, sometimes a little. It comes with some stickers and the dividers are plastic instead of paper. So that's a little different, a little more sturdy. You can get extra paper, you can get daily sheets. Man, I wish you guys could see this. There's a way to get it to, eh, not really. Um, oh, there's about plans and notes. Plans and notes was designed for the working professional student teacher or casual planner. It's an undated planner with extra pages. Anyway, your thoughts. We'll move back over here because it's hard to see that screen. All right, let me see what comments are. 
Oh, Amanda, that budget planner, that black and gold one's really pretty. I, I mean, the cover is really pretty. I haven't looked at the inside yet. It's neutral on the inside. Uh, Evelyn, you're using a vertical. You haven't picked one. Let me put this up here so I'm not looking down so much. You, let's see. I lost my, lost my place. Evelyn, haven't picked one out for 2022, but you plan on getting one for budget planning. Hold on, I keep losing my place. <laughs> Are you going to use a vertical for budget or a different layout? Hey, cover girl, planner babe. Yolanda, you have an undated vertical made by Freedom Mastery. What is that? I haven't heard of that. <laughs> Priestess in red, you have a boring life and you have no reason to plan. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, that's the thing about this kind of planning is that it's um, creative. I wish I had one I could show you right now. I don't think I have like a planner layout that's decorated to show. I have you have some, I can't show you that one. Um, it's creative, so you can use your planner any way you want. You can get stickers like, oh my gosh, do you have a cat? You can get the cat stickers and get the cat planner and make your planner you know, about your life with your cat, you know, be creative, have fun with it. Whatever you're into, are you into music? Do you like to read? We can get you into planning. What, what do you like to do? Patsy, um, you don't really need a planner. You love to decorate. Yeah. So just make your planner a creative, a decorative planner. Just decorate it for fun and I'm sure you do have things that you need to remember on certain dates. There might not be a lot of them, but have fun decorating your planner. You know, the purpose of it doesn't have to be a calendar. It can have a creative purpose. It's a creative planner. Um, like I have, this one's going to be just for gratitude journaling for me. You know, there's, there won't be any actual plans, but I love writing in gratitude journaling in every day and put some stickers. I use colored pens and it's really fun. It's like uh, helps get your mind focused and it's creative and fun. You know, it doesn't have to be just a calendar. Let's see. Yeah, there are a lot of things to plan and track. Um, Patsy says, any suggestions for someone to decorate a lot with stickers? So any says for someone to decorate a lot of stickers, but also I have appointments but not as much as some of you people do. I'm older and I'm home more now. Yeah, you can do a, a journal, do a deck, just decorative planning with your few appointments that you have in it. Um, budget, if you're tracking budget, there are tons of things. And I have a video that has a list in the description of a whole bunch of different things you can track in your planner that some of them you maybe haven't even thought of. So I'll try to remember to add that to the description. Um, so you can watch that after this video. So, uh, let's see. Oh, Nikki, you like the plans and notes because it'll help you organize writing novels. Oh yeah, that's great. Idea for someone who is night shift living but needs hourly. Hmm. Let's look at this hourly, hourly and see. So yes, I do have a suggestion. ASIN. The hourly planner starts at, oh yeah, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So if you're working a different shift, the sticker books that have the hours in them have sheets uh, or have strips of the um, hours listed out that you can trim to whichever hours you need. So you can start with the, um, I wonder if they, ooh, I want to look. I'm curious. Let's see if I can get my hands on that sticker book to look at real quick. I should have productivity here. Okay. I, I kind of organized so that I'd be able to do this. This basket should have productivity stickers in it with the hours in it. I want to see if they have the AM and PM listed on them. 
like here's a productivity sticker book from the happy planner and i know it has those strips with the hours let's see if it says okay so here's the deal with these i'll just try to show you they don't say a.m or p.m so you can use these and start any hours you want and add the a.m p.m that you need to put on your planner so that's a way to customize it. So instead of getting the hourly planner, you can get a lined vertical or whichever planner you want and add in your own hours, like on the left-hand column each week to the very left and use it that way. Just a thought. All right, let's see. Oh, you do have a cat and you like to write and you love being creative? Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, you can track your reading. I, I think I'm using a half letter because of work. Half letter size planner. Yolanda, I definitely need to learn. Uh, oh, at Yolanda, she's talking to her. <laughs> what exactly to do? I don't go out much and the jobs are laying off people left and right, so no working. What is a good sticker book to get for my first planner? Don't want to invest a lot at first. Okay, Kim, I always make this suggestion for your very first uh, stickers if you're getting into this. Be, don't do not do this. Don't buy every sticker that ever existed like I did. I went a little, little overboard <laughs> with the sticker. I make this suggestion. Two sticker books. One in a decorative sticker book that goes with your aesthetic and goes with your planner. So like if you, um, that one's not decorative, but okay, here's a good example. So if you purchased this 18 month planner from the Happy Planner, it has a matching sticker book. I would suggest to get the matching sticker book that goes to the planner. And then secondarily, a functional sticker book, either like a planner basics or like this one, essential planning, planner basics, that should be in here too. Or like this um, planner basics is here. Like this is the original planner basics. Um, or just colorful boxes, which is blank boxes. So I would suggest one decorative sticker book, one functional sticker book. Um, that will get you pretty far. And really, um, the stickers go a long, long way. So when you're ready for the next, like use those for a while, see wh what you think, um, figure out which ones you use the most, and then pick your next collection from there, but that's my suggestion. I like to have some decorative and some functional. Okay, let me put this back there for now. Okay, let's see. Pieces in red, you don't have kids, but you can track and schedule your nephew's things, like a school, yes, yes, that's good. Um, Heavenly Hazel, you're thinking of using a classic Happy Planner vertical as a memory journal. Yes. Um, journaling, exactly. Yes, perfect. So that's kind of like the way I'm using it for a gratitude journal. I'll be writing in three things each day to be grateful for, um, but you can use it the same way for a daily journal. And for a journal, you don't have to necessarily use the horizontal planner with all the writing space. You can, but you can also use a vertical with the three boxes and it gives you three different things to write about. Um, depending how big your handwriting is, you can write in there pretty good. Let's see. Hazel says, do you think the vertical classic happy planner is a good choice? Oh, I just answered that. Okay. Um, I, I plan on trying a dashboard for your, for your catch-all. Yeah, dashboard is good for catch-all. Um, I really, I prefer the horizontal if you're going to do a lot of writing and journaling. If you're going to do like a short one sentence, that will fit in the classic vertical. So it just depends how much you want to write. Oh, you love the essentials, ASIN? That's this thing, right? No. Is that what they're calling it? No, they're calling that plans and notes. What do you mean by the essentials? Oh, the essential sticker book? Pre um. Patsy says, I found I like the mini horizontal to use as a journal. 
Yes, the mini horizontal is a good journal too. Yes, really good. Um, because it's not so big, if you just wanna write a little bit every day, it's perfect. And then my vertical classic is your decorating planner and you put appointments in that one. That's, but you have to find a plain classic vertical. Yeah, plain. That's why I like this one because it has the neutral um, layout on the inside. You know, this part is just black and white, no colors. It's just easier if it has no colors in it. All right, so let's talk about some of the other planners. Um, who's using a planner different from the Happy Planner for 2022? I know we talked about a, you wish the Faith, faith Planner was horizontal more writing space. Yeah, you would think it would be. Do they not have one? I know there aren't very many horizontals this year, which is why I was excited when that Disney one came out. Um, did I say it was on Amazon? It was from Walmart. It was from Walmart. I don't think it's on Amazon. I take it back. That one was a Walmart exclusive, but there are some more new ones that just came out. I think they're undated. Yeah, you would think they would have the faith in a horizontal layout. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the different layouts. We talked about the dot grid journal, we talked about some happy planner layouts. Oh, I'm gonna ask you this question. Is anyone using the hand lettering planner for 2022? This one is a horizontal layout, but it's also made so you can practice your hand lettering in it. It has a special layout that has like the, you know, kindergarten, um, lines, the little dotted line in between the solid lines so that you can practice your hand lettering. I'm using this one to teach a hand lettering class in 2022 and uh, practice hand lettering. It's really, really fun. Anyone using that one? Hi, small budgets. What else do I have here? We talked about that one. We talked about that one. We talked about this one. We talked about the horizontal. You, you, Nikki uses the faith and horizontal layout and put faith stickers in it. Perfect. Oh, you, Yolanda, you haven't used the last calligraphy one. I've been using it all year and I love it. And you know where I put it? I put it in the living room, um, by the couch. So whenever I sit down on the couch, I can pick that up and I have my lettering pins right there and I just practice hand lettering. And it's like really a relaxing exercise to do, like when there's commercials on TV or if we just don't have a show turned on yet, it's um, really, really fun. So that's a suggestion. That's also a suggestion for your planning, especially if you're doing like journaling or faith planning, is to take that planner that you're using for that purpose. Oh, so I try to not, can you see me through these? It's so reflective. I'll take them off. <laughs> so if you're doing a faith planner or um, journal, a journal, you can put those like by your bed if that's when you do your journaling or planning at night, or like I said, on the couch, or if you're on the go all the time, make sure you have a bag that your planner fits in so that you have your bag and your planner like ready to go all the time. Um, coming soon, I wanna do a video about like um, putting together your planner bag and what should go in it and choosing a bag. Um, that's gonna be fun sometime in the next month. Hopefully I'll get that put together. Um, I've been wanting to do that. I, I literally still don't even have like a planner bag. I have these kind from the Happy Planner that have all my goodies in them. It has like my tools and pens and stuff. So I've been using those, but I really want like a tote slash purse style planner. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. All right, let me see what we have in the comments. Nikki, your writing is horrible. You just practice. It's gonna be horrible until you get used to those pens because it's really weird writing with brush pens. If you um, haven't before, it's very weird. Just practice, you'll get better, I promise. Um, 
It's so big, I need it in classic size. Yolanda, do you mean, you mean the calligraphy planner, right? Well, I did get the big one also for this past year and I got the classic this si the, uh, this year too for 2022. So I totally understand. I think you're right, that was like huge. And when you're trying to write in it and especially in your lap, which, which I'm doing, <laughs> it is a little difficult. So yeah, I like the classic size better for calligraphy. All right, oh, what else? Oh, I have this planner. Okay, I wanna talk about this one and I wish I had the new one yet, but the new Wrong Wrong Planner is on the way and I'm so excited because her planner, well, first of all, I love that it's rose gold. So the um, twin loop is ro rose gold and the um, new planner is also rose gold discs. I'm really, I just love that color. But her planner is also set up like it's beautiful with her decorations, her illustrations, but it's also set up super functionally. And so she has the vertical layout that I like with the three boxes, but she also has like some trackers over here on the left and a place for notes and then some cute illustrations. And then on the monthly, she has a really good monthly dashboard so that you can do like your priorities and your main tasks for the month. I really like that dashboard page. So I'm super excited about that planner coming. I'll absolutely do a video for you when it arrives. I'm looking forward to that. What else does she have in here? I know I've done a flip through of it, but it's been a while. I haven't even looked at it because I'm waiting for the new one. Yeah, it has a goal section. It has a vision board in the front, which I love. I always make one for my planners. Let's see, a vision board. She has a goal, ooh, she has a goal page here and a daily ritual. So like your morning routine and evening routine, what you're grateful for, affirmations, like all that good stuff that I love is all in the front of that planner too, so. It's awesome, I'm, I love it. All right, I saw a couple of comments come in. AJ wants to try the Hobonichi planner for next year, in addition to the Happy Planner and a few others. So is the Hobonichi, is it, um, does it have a layout? Like which layout is it? Is it, I don't, I don't know what that looks like. I found my old, Happy planner that I ended up never using. You'll probably cover up the dates and use it to plot stories. Oh, so you write. Is her only coiled? Are you talking about the wrong one? Wrong, wrong one? This one, she has two planners. She has this one, which is the um, twin loop wire. And then the new one will be a disc planner. They're both rose gold. Maybe I can make this a little taller. Okay. Do you have any questions? I think we've covered everything I wanted to chat about. Um, what else did I have up here? I had, oh, Happy Planner, new stuff from the Happy Planner. They have some really good like specials, holiday specials. I'm looking at it right now. Last minute gift ideas is what it says. I'll just try to show you, but I don't think it's going to focus very well. They have um, some really great deals on sticker, um, sticker books, what am I trying to say? <laughs> sticker books for $5.99 and up. And then also they had this really cool sticky note box that I saw. Let's look at new and featured. Here it is, let's check that out because I got my little eyes on it. Man, I wish this would focus. Oh wait, if I do that, will it focus? No. Mm, mm, nothing we can do to get it to focus on that. It's just a white page. So it's called Kind Heart Brave Soul Sticky Note Set. And it has like really pretty, um, hmm. I wonder if I can switch the camera around and show you. I don't, that makes me like seasick when I move it though, so I don't wanna do that to you. But it's called Kind Heart Brave Soul Sticky Note Set. And it's like a daydream kind of color. You can barely see it. it's like blue and purple. Really pretty, 
let's see what's in there. Sticky notes. So it's like a box kit of sticky notes. Anyway, that was something new and pretty. And then the sticker books. And then the new winter collection of planners. And, and more sticker books. I did see one faith planner. Where did I see that? This one. Let's look. I want to just see which layout it is because we were talking about that. Oh, it's a soap layout. So it has the different, and I can't see that screen. So I'm just going to go back over here. It has the um, like scripture reading at the top. And then what does that say? Observation in the middle. It's like a lined vertical. And then application at the bottom, another line vertical. Asen said the winter collection seems small this year. Yeah, I thought so too. And everything's super neutral, which I like bright colors. I like bright pink. I like, you know, I'm a summer girl. I like summer colors. So um, nothing really caught my eye. It's really neutral. Plus I have everything already <laughs> so much. I'm trying, I'm trying not to buy everything. Um, so yeah, it is a little more neutral, but if you're into neutral florals, the color palette is um, a little more muted, maybe more springtime, you could say. Yeah. All right, let me see if we have any. Yeah, nothing shocking. <laughs> nothing shocking. I like, I like shocking colors, so <laughs> it's a little muted for me. All right, anyone else have any other questions about planners for 2022, about choosing your planner? Oh, not many bigs, Asin. Yeah, not many big, not many horizontal. And they did not bring back our glam girl layout. Oh. I'm just gonna scroll back through. There was another planner we were talking about or wanted to talk about. I forgot which one it was though. Oh, Law of Attraction Planner, that sounds cool. And someone else was using another different one that sounded interesting. You found the, you found the OG Glam Girl on Mercari for $125. I have to tell you, I have one. I have one. It's in a, <laughs> it's like super safe, hidden. Oh my gosh, I wanna use it so bad, but I'm just gonna hoard it probably. I just couldn't, can you imagine? Like I couldn't bring myself to sell it. And then mm, those prices are crazy. You have one too, make up your plan? Yeah, it's the best. So eventually I'm gonna design my own planner someday when I get time, maybe this year it'll get done for 2022. And it's gonna have a similar layout to that because that's my favorite, favorite layout. Lined boxes and it's also super cute. Yeah, 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 girly. All right, Do, does anyone else have any questions? Yes, yes. It's sitting on your shelf, I know because once I use it, I don't want to, don't, don't want to use it, but I do want to use it. I guess I could, I could totally, I could totally. Sharon, you can't, you can't buy that one anymore. It's from 2000, it's from 2018, um, but it was Happy Planners, in my opinion, best planner ever. Uh, or you can only find some extras that, you know, people didn't use and they're selling online somewhere. <laughs> Sherry using an 18 month planner that is classic vertical and classic, uh, your two classic vertical and classic horizontal. Yeah. Yeah, definitely their best Yolanda. Yeah. I don't know why they won't bring it back. Have you all sent email? I've sent emails. <laughs> we need it back. Definitely the rest. Yes. No plans to use it. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, well, we've been chatting about planners for a while now. So I'm giving one last chance for questions or if you wanna see any of the planners that um, we talked about. I think I showed you everything that's in my lineup right now. 
horizontal gratitude. Um, I also have this recollections one. Is anyone using a recollections planner? I have this one. I haven't used it yet. And it has like a pretty, I do love the color palette. It has a pretty color palette. Uh, it's a vertical three boxes. And then I have those gorgeous Planners Anonymous stickers that fit in this planner. It's really pretty. I like the colors in here. Anyone using um, recollections? Where can you, Texas Linus says, um, where can you find the Faith, 2022 Faith Classic Happy Planner? They're all out and you can't find it anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna look for you right now because I have the website open. So it's, I'm gonna say Faith. <clears throat> Faith Classic Happy Planner. Faith Classic. Okay, let's see what they got. They have the Simple Faith Classic Guided Journal. Oh yeah, they'll probably show it on the last page. Um, what I wanna see is when you go on there and you click on a planner and you go into the product description page, if you go down, Somewhere in there it should say which stores are carrying that planner. Um, that's a little trick if you're looking for it in your stores. Grace for today, oh, that's a journal. Let me go back. Okay, let's go over a little bit. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's so pretty. Pray more, oh, that's a notebook. Where is the planner? journal there's also a spoonful of faith and that's at joanne um happy notes faith must be on the only page i didn't click on oh that's pretty there's an undated piece within this one's new undated piece within classic faith happy planner i'll click on that in a minute i want to see what else they have here Yes, yeah, Spoonful of Faith you can find in your Joanne stores. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, these are the ones I was thinking of earlier. The Grace Changes Everything Classic Faith Happy Planner. I want to see if any stores have this. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby will have one or two of these. So this one's really pretty. It has the marble cover on it. That's called Grace Changes Everything, and it will be at Hobby Lobby. So hopefully you have a Hobby Lobby near where you live. And let's see, uh, what about this one? Yeah, there's two. There's two that will be at Hobby Lobby. They're both really, really pretty. Okay. So there's two at Hobby Lobby, and then there are the Spoonful of Faith ones at Joanne. And then I was gonna go back, this is the new one, the undated one will be at Joanne, the new undated one. And it's like a dark gray with rose gold, really pretty. Oh good, I, I talked about one of the ones you were looking for. Christina bought 18 month planners back in the summer, so she is all set. Recollections was your first planner three years ago. Yeah, Michaels has tons of planners like this Recollections one if you're just starting out that you can, you know, get a, like, just start, see how you like the layout, get a different one if you don't like the layout. I have that too. Um, the paper, you don't like the recollections paper, it's a little thin. Did I do a pen test on that? I, I bet I didn't. I should try it out. I'm just feeling the paper. It seems like thick paper. Where's that two pages? It's two pages. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll need to do a pen test for that. Haven't tried the paper. Um, Sweet Cakes is looking for a functional planner. Functional planner. So you're not going to decorate very much. Do you want a vertical or, if you're totally functional, try the dashboard layout because it gives you all the prompts for it to be super functional. And then each day on the right hand side, the left hand side is your dashboard. It has like shopping list, to do list, um, a couple of other prompts and list spaces, and then a blank space. 
And then the whole right hand side of the page is functional for planning your week for each day. Probably the dashboard is the most functional layout in a happy planner. Ooh, you got some clearance. Ooh, I love the clearance section. You get really good deals. Sometimes you just gotta go see what each store has in clearance. I always kind of start there because you never know. I've gotten a happy planner for $3 at, at Hobby Lobby. And it was, it wasn't, it was an 18 month planner. So it had like 17 months left. <laughs> and it was only $3, a really good deal. Just, I love to get those deals. It's really fun. Where did you get, Christina? Where'd you go? EC paper is so nice. Make up your plan. Do you have an EC and which one is it? Uh, that's kind of why I want to try one because I haven't tried an EC and EC paper is amazing. That's what everybody says. I want to try it out. I want to see what it's like. So if I do that, which EC should I get? Is it the Daily Duo? Yeah, I would try the dashboard for functional. It's super, super functional. Try the Daily Duo. Okay. All right. You got it. That's the one, huh? Make up your plan. Yes, I have the life planner vertical, the agenda in the flora, and the petite planners too. Okay, so which one's your favorite? And which one do you want me to try? Or do you think I should try? And uh, you have some to redate. You bought in clearance from Happy, oh, from Happy Planner with your rewards points. Wow, that's awesome. So on redate stickers, so that since that's coming up soon, um, two planner babes in the community make redate stickers. Um, Heather from Caliva Plan has a sticker book with all the dates, and then it's either Amber or Jojo has the, um, I'll, I'll have to go back and put that in the um, notes, or does anyone know? It's either Amber or Jojo who has a date your planner sticker book for 2022. Um, that will just give you everything you need to date your whole planner to redate an undated or to redate an outdated planner or to date an undated planner. Um, so I'm thinking about one of, the, it's Jojo, Christina, thank you. <laughs> so Jojo has a date your planner sticker book and so does Heather at Kell of a Plan. Um, I'm thinking about getting one of those for my um, wrong wrong planner, but I also have stamps to um, try stamping the dates, which I think would be fun. And then you can use different stamp colors and I kind of like how it has that little crackly look from stamps. Oh, Nikki, you have Heather's date sticker book and it's amazing, yeah. Make up your plan. I like the boxed vertical and the academic. They are your favorites. Boxed vertical. Is that the life planner vertical? Oh, and the A5 notebook. So you have a good selection. Try the daily. Oh, wait. That was Yolanda. Heather Kell's dates is amazing. Hobby Lobby has really good number stickers. Oh, who makes the number sticker books at Hobby Lobby? and 50% off every other week. Oh, sorry, I still have that giant screen like in your face. Sorry about that, move that. And Sherry, you have JoJo's sticker book for dating a planner and you love it. So either one are great and we can support our girls in the planner community with their sticker books. I will have a sticker book in 2022. I'm super excited, I can't wait, but it's gonna take some time <laughs> before it happens. And I don't, I don't know exactly what'll be in it yet, but it'll be exciting. And then I'll make a planner someday too, <laughs> but it's gonna be some time. It takes a while to do these things. Um, I wanted the black dates from Jojo. So are Heather's in color? Is that what you're saying? Heather's dated sticker book is in color? I haven't looked, all I know is that they both have them. So which brand are the Hobby Lobby dated stickers?
Paper Studio. Okay, so that's Hobby Lobby's brand. Paper Studio has some dates. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I need to decide what I want to do if I'm going to stamp. You can always write in your dates too. I've done that before, but then sometimes I don't like how I write them. And I like stickers, so I would probably go with the stickers. Where can you buy Erin Condren planners? Lisa, they have mostly they sell from their website, Erin Condren's website. However, they have a couple of them that are available in Target and possibly some other places. But I, I've seen at least one or two they had in Target. They might have just been the academic year planners. Um, so basically, that's a, a planner you would have to order. I can't keep up with all the releases now. Yeah, me neither, Christina. I kind of just gave up. There's just so much going on with all our planner friends in the community and then all the big brands and then all our planner friends on Etsy. There's just, it, there's so, so much. <laughs> there's so much. So I just kind of like pick the ones I know and my favorites. Then every once in a while, I'll send out an email about something. Uh, make sure you're on my email list. Um, it's in the description. Everything's in the description box. <laughs> um, so that whenever I do find good deals or, you know, promotions that I want to share with you, um, you can get an email from me on that. I, I do share every once in a while something that I really like. Yolanda, you're on a no spend until March. Well, good for you and good luck with your savings challenge. That is awesome. But, and I'm sure you probably have enough planner goodies to last you, but don't, don't go shopping. <laughs> oh, you got your dates and numbers on Etsy. It was expensive, but the stickers are really nice. Okay. You don't need anything. <laughs> you have too much. I know. I, I hear you. <laughs> Has anyone else seen Erin Condor planners at another store other than Target? <laughs> I think you're done shopping too. It sounds like you're good. You have like five planners, right? <laughs> you're good. You don't have too, oh, you said you have too much. No, what? You said no, but I'm sorry, I didn't catch what the question was. Target and, oh, on the, on the EC planners, okay. Target and Office Depot, okay, Office Depot also. Office Depot, I've been there, did I see them? I probably took a picture too. <laughs> I don't remember seeing, seeing them there. But thank you for sharing that. Target and Office Depot have EC planners. I have too much as well. Amazon might have EC. Oh, let's check. Erin mm, Condren Planner 2022. Yeah, let's see. Ah, thank you for that suggestion. Check it out. Erin Condren also has an Amazon store. I did share about this. I do have an Amazon video and I have a little Amazon shop, which is really cool. I'll go ahead and link some things from Erin Condren too in my shop. And it has the coolest like shopping list. So when you go to um, my link in the description, it'll take you to my page and it has like all my favorite planning tools, my favorite planners, stickers, all the things. Um, so you don't have to try to find them. They're all like little groups. So I'll, I'll add some of these, but yes, you can get EC on Amazon now too. Um, and you can get Happy Planner on Amazon, which is really cool if they have what you want because you can get it really fast. So I had ordered a couple of sticker books on Amazon, um, Happy Planner sticker books, and they arrived in less than 24 hours. Like I ordered them in the afternoon and they were here like in the morning. It was crazy. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, Oh, so I guess I could order my EC on Amazon too. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool thing. Oh, you can't order that stuff, Lisa, in Canada? Yeah, you have FOMO. Mm -hmm. I know, me too. I want everything. I want every single planner and all the stick books. <laughs> 
and, but, and yes, you'll get to the point where you have nowhere to put it, which is why one of my projects next week is my um, uh, craft room makeover and organizing <laughs> because it's out of hand. It's gotten out of hand in here with all these planners and stickers. So don't do that. Just get your favorites. So and that's a good way to do it. Like each release for new goodies, get like your favorite and only your favorites. Um, also, if you haven't read uh, Marie Kondo or heard about Marie Kondo, um, the life changing magic of tidying up and spark joy are her two books. And she has like a TV show and all kinds of stuff now, but, um, she has like a decluttering method that tells you to choose your favorite things that make you happy and spark joy, like make you just feel good. And then trash, give away, donate, or sell everything else. Um, and I did that, not in here, because <laughs> I won't get rid of it. Like, I can't let go of my planner goodies yet. But I did that with, like, um, clearing out my closet a couple of times, and it's time to do it again. Clearing out papers, um, just decluttering. It's a really cool method to use. And then you realize... I don't really need all this stuff, but there are like two things that I absolutely love. So you wanna make sure you have that. And then once you clear out all the other stuff and you keep just the things that you really love, then when you look around either your craft room or your closet, that's all that's in there. So everything you see is something that you love and you're happy to have. So it's I, I'm, I really like that method for decluttering and I'm gonna try to do that in here. <laughs> I'm getting all my planner things together for D stash next year. Yes, I need to do a D stash. Okay, that's another good question for you all. I need to do a D stash. Eventually I will. I have a lots of extra things um, that are a lot are brand new in the package still. Where should I sell them? Like where do you sell your D stash? I can put them in my Etsy shop, I think. I'm I think I can do that. Um, there's Mercari and other places and eBay, of course, where do you think is the best place? Like, have any of you shopped for planner goodies like D stashes? Just wondering about that. Make up your plan. Your craft room is a mess. You're D stashing. Yes. Yeah. This might be the year of the D stash. Yolanda's D stashing. Oh, Amazon doesn't have the daily duo. Okay. Well, I'll you can get it from EC then. Amazon Canada. There you go. Maybe you can get something. I go throw me a stash. Oh, you go through your stash a couple times before making your final D stash. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. So that you don't get rid of something and be like, oh my gosh, I really needed that. And donate. Yes. And donate. I have a whole bunch of stuff ready to donate. Not planner goodies. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Yeah, mostly clothes. Lo uh, donate to a local school. You sell on Mercari and offer up apps. How does that, is that good? Does it work for you? Or do you do well? Are there a lot of planner girls on there wanting stuff? Anyone else sell their D stash things and which apps do you use? No daily duo on here, huh? Markers. They have the life planner, notebooks, lesson planners, Hello Kitty, Star Wars, petite planners. Interesting. I wonder why they don't have that on there. Mercari does well. You have a, a craft cart full, yes. They are the things that make us happy, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the stickers, they're fun, they're creative, they're happy. Yeah. Uh, Yolanda says, I've shopped the buy sell trade groups for D-Stash, so I will do a D-Stash in one of the groups. Oh, I'm probably in some of those on Facebook. I could sell on there. 
Um, also going to take some of my planner supplies to women's shelters. Yes, that's awesome. It's a good idea. All right, well, we've been chit chatting for an hour. I want to go get something to drink. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, leave a comment and tell me if this was a good time for you. I'm trying to get back on a regular schedule for our live chats. If four o'clock Eastern on Sunday is good for you, let me know in the chat or in the comments so that I can try to pick a good time where we can all get together and chat on a regular basis. Because like we were talking about, there's so many new releases in the community, on Etsy, from the big brands, from our friends that we wanna talk about and share and talk about what we're planning in our planners as well. So I wanna be able to get together with you all more often. Pretty soon I'm gonna have a new camera set up, which will be awesome. We'll be able to do desktop and chat at the same time and I'll be able to pull up your comments. So that's coming soon in the future. Hey, Yolanda, yes, I have a PO box. It is in the description at the very bottom. Um, what else just, what did I just see came by? Oh, a flea market for selling your stuff. Yeah, some flea mar markets have so much traffic and that'd probably be awesome. Oh, this time works for you, Nikki. Thank you. Great time for you, sweet cakes. Great time for you, Sherry. Happy to catch you live. Yeah, happy for you to visit. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. If you want to share, <laughs> make, up, make up your plan. I end up calling everyone by whatever their handle is, and sometimes it's maybe not appropriate. Do I call you makeup? <laughs> uh, it's a good time for you, Barbara. Mimi. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> Bye. So everyone take care, have a great evening, and I'll see you next week, same time. Bye.